What's going on, everybody? Welcome to, I guess, I, I, I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I've started already, and I didn't record. I, I sort of, if you've seen the last episode of the, me playing solo, basically you'll know that I was on a different server to now, essentially. This is a new server to that one. Um, I was banned on there for somebody coming and talking to me, and then I think the admin had a bit of a, a god complex, wanted to ban a Rust YouTuber, so here we are, um, playing on a new server. So we're going to start again. I have my base and everything, so we're good to go from there. So it's not like we're starting fresh and it's not another wipe day episode, which is nice. Because, I, I mean, I'm getting a bit bored of doing them for you, like, every bloody week. So we're going to try and do, like, a really long wipe here. That's my plan anyway. I've said it before, but that is the aim. So I'm going to hit the road up. It's going dark, so you guys probably aren't going to be able to see. I'll show you my base, show you my loot, which I've just amassed. And, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack on. I really I have no blueprints for this server. Has this been raided? Yeah, it has. How weird. Um, I have no blueprints for the server, so I can't even see to get out. All right, this is uh, this is us. This is us right here. Let me get my torch on for you guys. Uh, basically, I, I stole. I took this base over. It had already been raided. Um, so here we are. This is this is us. I found a, a ladder hatch on somebody I killed just a random naked. So we got that, which is pretty nice. And here we are. This is uh, loot wise. Found a flamethrower. Fucking awesome. Um, got a couple of laptops. We really need to go and recycle some of this stuff. I'm working on a workbench right now. That's kind of the main important thing. Loads of stone, loads of sulfur. This area is very resource rich right now. So that is really good. I'm going to go farm in the morning. Cooking up a load of frags and stuff. Everything is going really, really nicely right now. And then we've just got frags and bits and bobs. So yeah, come morning. We'll head out, maybe farm some nodes, build the base out, because it's only this 2x2 two two right now. I need a second floor, I need some more honeycomb, and yeah, we need uh, explosives, we need more blueprints, we need scrap. It's, we're, we're all go. I don't know why it is, but I'm just proper, proper hyped for this wipe. I think it's because, like, I already started before I clicked that record button, so it gives me the chance to bring you guys some, hopefully, end game stuff. I, I'm gonna, it's the first time I've actually got, like, a week to invest in Rust for so long. I finally finished some bits and pieces, training and stuff, weeks for work and things, so I'm really ready to go for this. So, we'll grab up a little bit of a farm. I'm looking for stone nodes, but when you've got a good pick, I'm never going to pass up the opportunity to get some sulfur and some metal ore as well. If we have to make the base out of metal, then so be it. Wow. That is uh, that's a thing of beauty. Come on. There we go. That's the first time I've ever done that properly. Love that. Tech trash and another ladder hatch. I'll take that. Double barrel shotgun. Oh, I'll take that all day long. That's uh, pretty... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright. Alright. Pretty happy with that indeed. A little army of barrels here. Oh, I love it. Ow. I bring any cloth? No, that wasn't very wise of me, was it? Yeah, well. I hate recycling here. Oh, everything's gone. Alright, we've got a green box. Coffee can helmet. Love that. Coffee can and a boonie hat. Alright. Alright, so this harbor's on my way home, so I thought I'd just pop in. Now, you guys said in my comment section, because I said at the end of, like, I think maybe my last video, if not the one before, that I didn't think there was a recycler at this harbor. Now, one of you said it's next to the swivel crane. Now, I assume that this is the swivel crane, and it should be around here somewhere. I didn't think this smaller um, harbour had one, but if it does, then that is incredible. I might live here every freaking time. I don't see one up he here. I can't move past that for some... Can I not... Are you not allowed to go down there? What the fuck? The fuck? There's like an invisible door. Weird, okay. Um... Fuck, it's right there! And now I'm in the water. This is lovely. I don't know what that invisible door was about, but we'll move on. Right, well, um, I guess I'll kind of recycle all of this stuff. I don't need semi-bodies right now. I am going to keep the propane tank, because I guess I'm going to kind of need them, so that I can... I'm going to research the flamethrower and then craft it, instead of just going out with the only one I've got. I think that's the, probably the wise choice, right? Honestly, one of my favourite parts of doing YouTube 
is the fact that you guys can help me with stuff and like when I ask you questions and you guys answer and stuff because that uh, just you guys letting me know that the recycler was there invaluable because that is where I'm going to go to recycle all of my shit from now on because it's so a it's so safe around there but it's oh that's just so good so I, I can't thank you guys enough but right let us look to really move on here we're, we're doing really freaking well I'm really proud oh what the fuck let me move Oh, that was fun. What the fuck? The hell is going on, game? Oh, it's my fucking antivirus software again. It can go suck a dick. This guy's got armor on. I know he has. This is stupid. Shouldn't even be thinking about tangling with him. I've got nothing. I could craft some stuff, but I don't see what the point would be. Oh, that's what we do. Get out of town, Vegeta. You're a fan of uh, Dragon Ball, and I'm a proud I'm a proud fan of Dragon Ball myself. But oh, those headshots, though. Those headshots, though. Dead quick. I've laid the two, so I'm just. Can I get in that? Yeah, okay, of course I can. I'm just going to recycle the pickaxe so that we've got that ready to go. That is sweet. The lack of a metal hatchet is uh, really, really annoying, actually. What do you guys think to this uh, this new update where the outline is around all the items that are like in the air and on the floor and stuff? What do you guys think to that? I know a lot of you do play Rust, a lot of you don't. Um, so a lot of you don't actually know what updates and stuff come out. Basically, if I throw something on the floor, look, it's got this weird outline around it now when I look at it. I don't know why. Um, just makes it easier for new players to learn the game sort of thing. What do you guys think? Obviously, as a more experienced players, not necessarily as important for us, but hey-ho. There was a fight going on just here. Yeah. This guy's a god, he can shoot through trees. Awesome. Alrighty. Ooh. You can see him having a fight, maybe we go, maybe... Maybe. Oh, he's down, he's down, he's down. Yes. Oh shit, the bed. Oh, he's out. he was out of revolver bullets. Okay, I see. I see the issue. Shall I tangle with this turkey? I don't need anything else, man. I'm panicking. Oh shit, there's more guys here. I'm gonna bug out. Got some metal armor and a revolver and a, and a medical syringe. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright team, so I think that draws today's episode to a close. I think that's a good conclusion. We are in need of a lot more scrap so that we can learn the buckshot and the uh, double barrel shotgun, which is going to really help us out in the long run on this server, I think. Um, we obviously need to find explosives and jazz, but that can be done next what, next episode. I've also got enough stuff so that we can maybe do some flamethrower raids. I'm cooking that. I think I've got, yeah, 77 uh, crude oil, so we can go and get a load more. I'm going to go smelt it down so we get that. Craft a flamethrower, go and raid some wood bases. I'm going to pick through this here. Um, mainly because it gives me a, an extra 2x1 out there just to store loot, I guess, maybe. Some crappy loot. I'll put a double door on here. I'll probably move that one or craft a wooden one. And that is the plan, or unless I learn that one. Hmm. 
maybe we'll learn this, I don't know. So yeah guys, I wanna just wanna say thank you so much for your support recently, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please smash a like. If you're hyped for this white like I am, haven't looked forward to a white like this for so long, please do hit that like button, it really helps me out. Subscribe if you're new, drop me a comment, let me know what you think about Rust in general and what you think about me as a YouTuber and what you think about this video. It really, really do intri it does intrigue me. So I guess without further ado, that is the end of today's episode, guys. Have an awesome day, have an awesome week, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious.